For Christmas, my mom got us this Himalayan salt lamp, and apparently it's just a huge chunk of salt that uh, the light inside like makes it evaporate the air to make it purified or something. I don't know. Sounds like some sort of witchcraft. That that the Himalayan salt lamps like a like a catch twenty two of of Himalayan of science, I guess. Scientifically proven that it purifies the air in like some fashion. I'll probably find the box and read you guys whatever it, it, the scientifics of it is. But it uses a regular incandescent bulb inside of it to heat it up. But I'm like, I want to put a, a compact fluorescent in there to save the environment and be all sciency. Because that's science, science people really like, you know, the environment and global warming type stuff. Um, but it won't heat up the salt lamp then. So what the heck do we do? Alright, here it is. I, I don't know, this this does kind of sound like hooey. I don't really know that it's sciency. It says that the heat from the bulb causes the salt to emit negative ions. I feel like that's pretty sciency. The negative ions combat or uh, bond with pollutants in the air, positive ions, and neutralize them. Sciency, that makes sense. These negative ions combat electrosmog caused by electronic devices operating in the home. That doesn't sound sciency. That sounds like hooey. Symptoms of asthma, allergies, and other illness can also subside from the effects of salt lamps. Concisely, salt lamps cleanse the air naturally and are extremely beautiful. That's a, that's, what, concisely? It says it's also a good form of light therapy. Light is important to mental well-being. According to medical research, light therapy is common treatment in the northern countries where one finds higher rates of depression that are related to long winter nights. So, if you're depressed, you get a Himalayan salt lamp and you stare at it and you will not be depressed anymore. Ah, quick question, what did you guys think of my hair? I just kind of, like, I didn't put it as pointy and I'm kind of like trying to make it so that it's more like poofy. And I'm eventually, hopefully, gonna work it into like a pompadour, maybe? We'll see. I gotta cut the sides because they're getting kind of like long. I feel like my face is very round right now, which is, I have a round face. The goal for tonight? <sighs> this room, some of this room at least, trying to get it started to be cleaned up. Some of this stuff I don't need. Uh, I don't even know why we have it. Like, what don't I need? Uh, uh, that magazine rack right there. Why do we have that? These bike shoes. I don't even have a bike that these bike shoes can go to anymore. It's pretty darn annoying when you've just moved and you're like looking for one particular thing. I'm looking for the Roku player right now that Thor gave us. And I thought I found it. I thought I had found it when I pulled out that box right there. But no. That was just a box full of Hawaiian shirts apparently. We got a little bit of TV going from, uh, from Netflix with like a temporary setup with the Wii. But seriously, Louis C.K., funniest comedian ever. Were you going to say something? Louis C.K. Louis C.K. Can't find the scissors. Louis C.K. They're in the front room somewhere with everything scissors. else in the world is that's in the front room. It's because I can't find the scissors. I like how you have the... No, you're going to hurt yourself. Where, where did you... What did you open last in the front room? I don't know. Poor little bandit's so cold. It's covering up his little nosy. So I lied a little bit. We didn't actually work at all on the front bedroom. <laughs> oh, we watched Louis C.K. and then Arrested Development. <sighs> so lazy. I think that's all that it is. No, I'm pretty sure it's because we just moved the entire house in four days and then we're both working like crazy to get it. Well, she's working like crazy to get it back and I'm just working like crazy at work. I'm tired. Here, I figured I'd show you. This is the little thing. Remember I told you guys that we got something that turns the sink into a water faucet, water fountain? Let's see how it works. I wonder if it works on the kitchen sink or if it only works on the bathroom sink. I think that's on. Oh, no. Nope. All right, let's try it on the bathroom sink. Oh, so far so good. I don't want it to be like, it's, this is, maybe, hold on. All right, I tried it facing the front. That, you can't really drink out of that. How do you do that? It's like, but it's not shooting to the side, so I, oh, sort of, hold on, let me try. Eh. I mean, that sort of worked, but my hand's now soaking wet, and so is the sink. I can't wait to be done, like, moving into this house so we can actually, like, get out and go do something. Like, buy mustard, for instance. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.